How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to AI Define. I, of course, am your host, John Lee. There is no other host. I don't know why I keep doing that, but it's fun to introduce myself. It makes me feel important. And today, we're going to be talking about something you've no doubt heard of if you've done even the slightest bit of AI research, the Turing test. Introduced by Alan Turing in 1950, the idea of the Turing test was to test the ability of artificial intelligence to think by creating a test where on one side you had a human and then through a computer terminal he was interacting or she was interacting with a machine. And the Turing test was to see whether that human would be able to recognize that they were dealing with a machine or if the interaction would be indistinguishable from natural human interaction. And this became kind of a key milestone in the development of AI and also somewhat controversial. And here's why. The pros for the, the Turing test are a couple. The first is it's very simple, right? It's very simple and easy to test, right? It's not super complicated. Can you tell if you're dealing with a human or not? Pretty easy. Uh, the second thing is there's a wide breadth of tasks that you could use in the Turing test. One of the original applications was to uh, test it against housewives playing party games. And it's also focused on emotions and aesthetics. Same thing with the uh, example, right? So it's focused on emotional language and aesthetics, which is, is very similar to the way humans think. Now the weaknesses, on the other hand, are a lot. One of them is the idea that there's no difference between human behavior and intelligent behavior. And as we all know, some human behavior is not intelligent and other intelligent behavior just simply isn't human. Uh, other things are the ideas of consciousness, what actually is thinking, and it all gets kind of complicated from there. So the actual application of the Turing test is a little shaky, but understanding that it's a key milestone in AI and understanding that the point of the Turing test is to create a machine that can interact in a way that's indistinguishable from a human is really all you need to know when the Turing test is brought up. And check out The Imitation Game. That's a fun movie. I mean, it's not fun because it's sad and about a guy's like tortured life, but it's a good movie. Anyway, that's going to wrap things up for today. Be sure, sir, sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, leave a comment, share these videos, all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you very soon.